Vedika. Hope you are doing well. Observe the different pictures on the screen. The mountains, the plains, the plateaus, rivers, valleys, oceans and the islands. These are the different landforms of the earth. Today, we will learn about the India relief features from class 10 in social studies. Indian landmass as part of Gondwana land originated due to geological formations and several other processes like weathering, erosion and deposition. The Indian landmass displays great relief variations. Learning outcomes. You will be able to learn about the major relief divisions of India. The Himalayas, the Indo-Gangetic Plains, the Peninsular Plateau, the Coastal Plains, the Desert, the Islands, Keywords, Perennial River, The perennial rivers are the rivers that continue to flow throughout the year. Coral reefs, a formation at or near the surface of tropical waters formed by skeletal deposits of corals, a form of sea life, coastal plains, a plain extending along a coast, peninsula, a land that is surrounded by the water from three sides. Shivalik. They are the outer Himalayas. Purvanchal. The Purvanchal range is the eastern extension of the Himalayas lying in the easternmost parts of India. Purva means east and Anchal means region. Look at these high mountains which are covered with snow. These mountains are called the Himalayas. In India, the Himalayan ranges run in the west-east direction in the form of an arc 
with a distance of about 2400 kilometers. The Himalayas comprise three parallel ranges. The northernmost range is known as Greater Himalayas or Himadri. Greater Himalayas are composed of snow and ice cover. The movement and melting of glaciers are the sources of the perennial rivers. The portion of the range found to the south of the greater Himalayas is called Lesser Himalayas, which has most rugged relief. These ranges are mainly composed of highly compressed rocks. The height ranges from 3700 to 4500 meters above sea level. Important ranges are Pirpanjal and Mahabharata range. Famous valleys of this region are Kashmir, Kangra, and Kulu in Himachal Pradesh. This region is well known for many hill stations like Simla, Masori, Nainital, and Rani Keth are covered by evergreen forests. The southernmost range of the Himalayas is the Shivaliks. These paths consist of thick gravel and alluvium. The valleys lying between the Lesser Himalaya and Shivalik ranges are called Duns. The easternmost boundary of the Himalayas is the Brahmaputra Valley. Arunachal Pradesh beyond the Dihang Valley. The Himalayas take a hairpin bend to the south and act as the eastern boundary of India and run through the northern states. These divisions are known as Purvanchal. The Purvanchal is known as Patkai Hills, Naga Hills, Manipuri Hills, 
Kashi and Mizo Hills. The formation of the Himalayas influences India's climate in various ways. These act as barriers protecting the Great Plains of India from the cold winds of Central Asia during severe winter. The Himalayas are the reason for summer rains and monsoon type of climate in regions that are beyond the western guards of India. The Himalayan rivers have a perennial flow since these are fed by the glaciers and bring a lot of silt making these plains very fertile. Do you know? Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. K2 or Mount Godwin Austin is the second highest mountain in the world. Kanchanjunga is the third highest mountain in the world above sea level. The interaction of three Himalayan rivers in this Ganga Brahmaputra and their tributaries resulted in the formation of Great Northern Plains. The Indo Gangetic Plains broadly consists of three divisions. The western part, the central part, the eastern part. The western part was formed by the Indus and its tributaries. The Jhelum, the Chenab, the Ravi, the Bias, and the Sutlaj. The central part is known as the Ganga Plain. This part is mainly spread in the states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and partly in Haryana, Jharkhand and West Bengal. Rivers like Ganga, Yamuna and their tributaries Sun, Koshi, etc. drain themselves here. 
the eastern part of the plains exists mostly in the Brahmaputra Valley of Assam. The Himalayan rivers while flowing down deposit gravel and pebble sediments in the narrow belt of 8 to 16 kilometers width found parallel to the foothills of Shivaliks which is known as Bab. Small rivers and streams flow underground through Babar and reappear in lower areas and form a swampy and marshy regions called terai. Fine alluvial plain regions are found towards the south of Terai region. Terai zone has now been used for agricultural operations. The Indian plateau is also known as the peninsular plateau. The peninsular is a region surrounded by water on three sides. It is mainly composed of the old crystalline, hard igneous and metamorphic rock. Large amounts of metallic and non-metallic mineral resources are found in the Indian plateau. The southernmost tip of the plateau is Kanyakumari. It consists of two broad divisions, namely the Central Highlands, Malwa Plateau and the Deccan Plateau. Malwa Plateau lies towards the west and the Chuta Nagpur Plateau lies towards the east. The plateau regions are dry as compared to the plains. The rivers are not perennial. The portion of the peninsular plateau Lying to the south of Narmada, a triangular landmass is called the Deccan Plateau. Satpura Range forms the Deccan Plateau's north edge. The Mahadev the Kaimo range and a portion of the Maikal range are on the eastern edges. 
the western ghats lie parallel to the west coast the western ghats extend for 1600 kilometers near godalur the nilgiris join the western ghats and they rise to a height of about 2000 meters the famous hill station oti is located in the nilgiris dodda betta 2637 meters is its highest peak Western Ghats include the Palanai, Tamil Nadu, Annamalai and Kadamam, Kerala Hills. Anaimudi, 2695 meters of Annamalai Hills is the highest peak in South India. The Eastern Ghats extend from Mahanadi Valley in the north to Nilagiris in the south. The highest peak in the Eastern Ghats is Aramakonda found at Chintapalli 1680 meters. The black soils formed due to volcanic activity in the peninsula. The Thar Desert is located on the leeward side of Aravalli and receives very little rainfall, ranging from 100 to 150 millimeters per year. The desert consists of sandy plains and rocky outcrops. It occupies much of western Rajasthan. It is an arid climate with very low vegetation cover. Loni is the only river in this area. The southern part of the Peninsulari Plateau is bordered by a narrow coastal strips along the Arabian Sea on the west and Bay of Bengal on the east. The western coast also known as Western Ghats starts from the run of Kutch and ends at Kanyakumari. The plain is uneven and broken by hilly terrain. It can be divided into three parts Konkan coast This is the northern part. It touches Maharashtra and Goa. Canara coast. This is the middle part. It includes the coastal plains of Karnataka. Malabar coast. 
this is the southern part mostly in state of Kerala. Eastern Ghats, it stretches from Mahanadi in Odisha to Kaveri Delta in Tamil Nadu. These coastal plains are known by different names locally. Utkal coast, Odisha, Sirkar coast, Andhra Pradesh, Koramandal coast, Tamil Nadu, coastal zones also enable rich fishing resources. There are two groups of islands. Andaman and Nicobar Islands stretched in the Bay of Bengal and Lakshadweep Islands in the Arabian Sea. The southernmost tip of India is found on Nicobar Island and is called as Indra Point, which was submerged during 2004 tsunami. Lakshadweep Islands are coral origin. The group of islands is famous for great variety of flora and fauna. So, we have understood that there is a vast diversity in the landforms in which Indian people live. There are mountains, northern plains, the great Indian desert, peninsular plateaus, coastal plains and islands. These places are irrigated by mighty river flowing from the Himalayas and some are refined rivers that flow from the western Ghats. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned about the varieties of landforms and their features.